Renee Cooper. You loving your chainsaw chaps and the sunshine? Such a nice day out, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we're back again. Farm Shop Projects. We're on the Space Yeti here. Um, I've got my thing cleaned out. As you might see here, it's nice and much whiter than it was before. It was pretty dirty, pretty scummy. Um, now, I got it mostly cleaned out. I'm going to definitely have to course wipe it down with one of the framing. Wipe it down with um, some cleaners because I can still smell the solvents that I used to dissolve a lot of the grease. Um, there's still some grease on the wall here that needs to be dealt with and come off. And there's a bit down at the bottom down there as well. Um, but so far, so good. The one thing I have noticed um, is this canopy right here, or this overhead here. If you notice on this side, if I actually scoot down a bit, you might see it, you might not, but it's a little bit lower on this side. Now in this corner down here, there is a crack on the outside and the crack actually realized right after pulling everything out extends to right here. Um, so it has been loaded heavily in the front. I was kind of told that that was the case too. Um, we had seen the cracks there before I even bought this. Um, so what I'm gonna have to do, thankfully there's like a well recessed into here. You can't really see it very well. Maybe you can see the other one better. Now the shadows are kind of hiding it, but there's a well that goes down here and then across. Um, and it's only about a one inch difference. So what I'm gonna end up doing is bracing this up um, and then probably putting a wrap of fiberglass on it as initial um, framing, initial um, fix, fixturing. Um, but then in those wells, I'm going to probably build a bracket up the side here and over out of probably steel or stainless steel. Um, and then glass over top of that and fasten to it as well to bring that back up to square. Like I said, it's only about an inch, but I'm going to fix that. I don't want this thing to be like crumpling or collapsing as I go down dirt roads or whatever. So I will end up reinforcing this. I'll put basically a hoop, I guess, inside here and down, bolt it into here. Um, and I am just at the point now where I'm going to start making the marks for doing cuts. Um, and yeah, we're uh, back at it. This is going to be a short video because my battery's almost dead. And there's not much else to update on that. I'm about to take the containers home and hit them with the power washer, all of the uh, shelving and, and cabinets. Um, I've got a big list of things to do on this. I've got to worry about the rack, roof rack I'm going to stick on this. Um, i got to worry about the cutting and the fiberglassing. Um, I've got to worry about doing the lights, or the skylights here, here, and the hatch there. i got to find a hatch for that. I did find one online, but they wanted way too much for it used. So I've got to find a hatch for that. Yeah. That's got to be a fairly reasonable security hatch, and that's got to be the second point of exit on this thing, in case of emergencies. I also have to deal with the doors and the door seals and some little bits of metal bent here and there, some trim. Anyways, I got a lot of work ahead of me. So I guess back to it. That's it for Farm Shop Projects today. Thanks for watching.